right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts here, back in the house once again with some more Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Um, I was kind of forced to take a like a week off from you know um, recording for Legend of the Galactic Heroes, so that's why there was any uh, um, episodes or any videos last week but i know you guys understand i mean it was a good time anyways to take a break from it because it was the end of season one so we're jumping into new territories today of season two so i am happy to say that we are back now i would i have some questions i have some questions um so it when it comes on to this show how do you guys want to how would you how, how did you guys watch the show because i know i know there's still people you know saying that this show should be watched a certain way you know and i i decided to watch it in release order not chronological order so i just want to know you guys opinion on what do you think is the best way to watch a show not that i'm going to switch it's just a question I want you guys feedback on do you think I would have benefited more if I watched it in chronological order or is it you know or you think that it's better the way that I'm doing it currently which is the release order that's all it's all a question I know that you know in the past before I started watching the show um, you know people had their opinions on it and whatever but I just want to know now that I've watched season one off you know and basically watch the two movies at first that kind of introduce the characters blah 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 like what is it let me know guys what do you think would have been the best course of action for me to do like do you guys think at this moment knowing that i finished season one do you think it would have been best if i watched it you know in chronological order so you know um yeah just let me know <laughs> i don't know why i'm hesitating there but in any case guys we're going to jump in season two episode 27 and 28 today thank you guys so much for tuning in man you guys have been killing it you guys have been watching the videos i really do appreciate y'all so if you want you can always hit the like button man it's free and always remember leave a comment as well because your boy will respond all right all right so let's jump into these episodes and i will see you guys at the end for the review それでは訓練生や新兵も当然だ。こいつからその聞く肉じゃあるまいし。特等席で戦争ゲームを見物させてやる余裕はない。はっ。ほい。第9臨戦態勢。接触要素ポイント。ゼロン街道エクアルクイ
ちょうどそれに関連したことで面会を求めているものがおりますがアルツール・フォン・シュトライト退役人種本になる貴族に泣きつかれて各家への取りなしを頼まれたシュトライトってあの男 ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、
だが、今度出たら一層気をつけるんだ。こっちの方が生き残りが少ない。その分さらに不利になってきている。はい。これはユリシーズ。はい。変換ユリシーズです。アムリッツァでは大変だったらしいが、例のトイレに直撃を食ら
彼の戦果はワルキューレ三期撃墜そして巡航艦一隻を完全破壊以上です巡航艦を破壊ウィジンレかいやこいつは驚いた天賦の才というやつだな俺のウィジンだってこんなに派手じゃなかったまたにどれだけ伸びるか出恐ろしい気がするな何単に一生分の幸運をまとめて使い果たしただけだこれで戦いを甘く見るようになったらかえって本人のためにならない本当に器量が問われるのはこれからだ I guess you gotta take the small victories. Alright, so when it comes on to um when it comes on to how this series does things, right? Um so this is the first episode of the second season. Um basically kind of fe um featured around um Julian more than more than anybody else. His first battle in space was supposed to be a training exercise and they end up you know being they ran into some enemies um and he did pretty good he did pretty good but the problem is when lee worries about him so much because i don't know you know maybe he's like a son to wenley wenley doesn't want him to die um you know at this point in this series and as, as i've always said it's it, it, it's like you know they've been killing each other for hundreds of years i mean they've been killing each other for hundreds of years like when is this when is it going to end you know when are they going to come to the conclusion that things need to end we also have reinhardt you know making some some decisions there to get some um some other things you know, kind of moving towards a democratic society, but not really. It's kind of like implementing some democratic stuff, um, but not really going all the way. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's kind of like some policies of, you know, if you want to say modern society. Um, I will see how it goes. <laughs> Let's get to episode um, 28. ネックリンガーにでも行ってしかるべき美術館に収蔵生。あ、国庫。いや、お前は確か激しいな。オッペンハイマー博士。兵は憲兵総監の地位にありながら、自らの行為が法的にいかなるものか理解しておらぬようだ
しかし、ヘルドルフォン10家注意でありますスタンドロがいらっしゃいませんでしたので、失礼とは思いましたが、下級の連絡が入りましたので、ご報告に上がりました。構わぬ、何か。あ、去る1月16日、ヘルノーン
ロウエン村の党が全権を掌握してから以前のように自由に公金を使えなくなったそこにつけ込んだわけ我らが奴から買った技術や情報それ自体が奴を縛るのだイゼルローンさえ落ちれば絶対兵力ではるかに帝国が有利ここで一気に銀河系に統一国家を作らせ我らがそれを実施するだがそれだけでは不足だ<笑>イゼルロン要塞の陥落をより確実にする必要があるはいそれにはとヤンウェンディを一時的にでも良いイゼルロンから遠ざけるのだはいあとは指揮する者の能力次第だ聞いての通りだ憲法司令官ミュラーを副司令官に任ずる科学技術総監の計画に基づきダイエスブルグをもってイゼルローンを攻略せよはっカール・ブス実際驚きましたが出陣は無人の本会ですだがなぜケンプ隊長と警なのか別に俺に行かせるとは言わんが本来ならこれほどの大作戦要求対象たる両政徳にご加盟あってしかるべきではないかどうせオーベルシュタイン総参謀長殿のご意向だろうが俺やロイエンタールに武軍を立てさせたくないですかキルヒアイズに代わって俺たちがナンバー2になったのでは元も子もないからなそこで大将の中から先日の小競り合いの雪辱を従っていた憲法司令官一番若いミラー慶応副司令官にとなったところで今回の人事に合わせて元帥閣下がまた復官を変えられたのをお聞きですがベルデ・ベルトを更迭したのかまあ更迭と言えるかどうかだ官職には違いないのですが一応英天の形ですけど閣下のご恩情だなそれで後任には誰を当てるのだそれが例のシュトライト順守に応用なされている話何ほう大胆なことをなさるものだオーベルシュタインは黙っていないそれがすんなり受け入れたというから不思議です、うん、ブラウンシュバイク校の中心として知られたシュトライトでさえロエングラム校に膝を屈したそういう政治効果を狙ったのだろう<笑>総参謀長殿といえばご存知です昨年のことらしいのですが、元帥府の前で犬を拾われました。やっぱ犬オーベルシュタインがかええ、年老いたダルマチアンだという話なんですが、この犬が生意気にも柔らかく煮た鶏肉しか食べないところで、総参謀長殿自ら夜中に肉屋に買い物に行かれました。ふん、我らが総参謀長殿は、人間には嫌われても犬には好かれるわけか。犬同士、気が合うのだろう。するとフロイラインはこの疾病に賛成してはくれぬと私にわからないのはこの時期に兵を動かす必要性です昨年の内乱から経済的には立ち直っているかもしれませんが民衆はいまだに安定してはいません今は国内の整備にこそお力を注ぐべきではありませんかだから今回は部下に任せて私はオーディンを離れるですが閣下フロイラインさん私には立ち止まることは許されないビッテンフェルトは確かに強いもし奴と俺が戦うことがあれば最初に優位に立つのは奴の方だろうだが最後に勝つのはこの俺だ話をそらせ問題は今回の疾病自体戦術上の新発見や新兵器の発明があったからといってそれを口実に疾病を進めるなどしたことで本末転倒も甚だしいだが疾病を決められたのはロエングラム公ご自身だだから失敗しているのだ同盟はいずれ滅ぼさねばならんとしている今度の疾病は無益で無用なものだ。なさらき兵を動かし、武力におごるのは国家として健全なありようじゃない。<笑>相変わらず正論かな。やるないだ。以前にも増して正論を挟ねばならぬ。しかし、こっちこそ、相変わらずのロアク主義、いい加減にしたらどうだ。そうだな。俺自身はそう思わんでもないのだ。それでもまだ何十人かが7歳の子供一人の世話にかかりつけていた<笑>それでも世襲が三奪より正しいというのか皇帝をどうなさいます皇帝は殺さない生かしておいてこそ利用価値があるそうではないかオーベルシュタイン確かに今のところは最後の世ですねああ今のところはね all right so this was a quick two episodes jumping into season two of the series kind of setting some things up but we'll go over you know what happened what i think about it and all that good 
shares so of course we have um first episode of uh of season two episode 27 so basically what happens is that reinhardt you know he's now the premier and basically the commander-in-chief of the, the you know imperial military um you know he implemented some stuff for the welfare of the people kind of moving in that direction of you know implementing some more democratic stuff um into the society for the welfare of the people kind of sharing the wealth if you will um so of course meanwhile we have over in um the f is is fba right <laughs> meanwhile over in the fba you got um a training mission going on that turns out um basically turned into a um a big old battle because they met up on some enemies and they were supposed to be training they didn't expect to come upon um enemies so of course the fleet was about to be crushed um they got word of it yeah um yang came in with the with the um with the reinforcements and helped out um of course with the with the help of mr Mercats himself um so basically they left ursulon to go out there and help him out and rescue yulian and them right and then in episode 28 um it got a little bit of backstory on um mittermeyer and ruintal's um background of course um but that's you know that was kind of a side it, it was good to know but i want to know why they did that also i don't think we're going to find that out anytime soon why they chose to show you know uh, about their you know preference in choosing partners i don't know why that was so important but um i guess to kind of show a little bit about their difference between their personalities they've been best friends for a long time you know so of course we have mr i think his name is von shaft uh, uh admiral of the, the um science and technology division he decides um to work out a plan to get ursulon back now ursulon you know they, they want to get ursulon back right so they want to turn geisberg which is the which is where um the nobles were were cooped up during the civil war um basically to turn that into a mobile fortress to go take back ursulon basically equip it with some sort of engine so it can move turn it mobile so that they can move it out there instead of having to build a new fortress you know um it would make sense reinhardt did ask a question is like you know this could work to build a new one if you know what i'm saying if they would allow us to work <laughs> you know and just ignore us which is not going to happen so um they would match basically the firepower of ursulon with geisberg so we'll see how that works out um we'll see how any of this goes on because that still doesn't guarantee that they can take ursulon back but i mean it is reinhardt versus yang so we'll see how things go so of course you know he dishes us out and of course you, you know in phase on i know i don't talk about phase on as much but their plan basically is to to um basically to support the 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 basically to support um reinhardt and let the imperial system take over one so you know the the cult can can come in and just take over all everything all at once that is his plan rubinsky that that's it that is his plan basically you know what i mean so whoever is winning they're going to support him so now they're trying to figure out a way to get yang away from ursulon to give them the op the optimum opportunity to take back ursulon so we'll see how all of that turns out but um for the most part when it comes on to these two episodes it was a great start to season two kind of give us a, giving us an update about yang and reinhardt as well so to just to see where they're at what they're doing 
Yulian is now on the battlefield. I wonder if, you know, he's going to continue to be there or he's going to be pulled back to Yang's side. Um, you know, I think if Yulian dies, Yang might change. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion on that end. I feel like he might change um, his perspective on thing if, if, um, if Yulian dies. I don't know. I don't know. I think I think Julian is like a son to him, and he doesn't want to to um, put him in any danger, um, or he don't want to have to be worried about him. This wasn't a situation for him to be in danger, and it happened. You know what I mean? So I think he, he absolutely um, loved their relationship in the show. So um, you can see that Reinhard is just not that guy anymore. He's just not the same person anymore. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. But anyways, guys, um, that is all we have today. I've only gotten a chance today. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more episodes today. So it might be this week. might be a light week with the reactions. I might have a couple more episodes. Um, I might record a couple more episodes. It's really late at night right now. Um, and I really need to get some, some rest, some shut-eye. Um, this weekend was, was pretty crazy for me. I didn't expect it to be crazy, but we are here. I did try to punch out a couple of episodes. Hopefully I can get two more done, um, for you guys for the rest of the week. So there might be four episodes, not six this week. So I, I should be able to grind out a couple more episodes for you guys this week. So hopefully you guys are not too worried about that. Um, we're going to get through the series. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's going to be, um, moments where I'm, you know, super passionate about what's going on because this show really does get, it really does get under my skin sometimes because, you know, it just, it displays, it really displays, you know, human nature. It really does of, you know, what we are and the decisions that we make, selfish decisions that we make without even thinking a lot of times so i really do appreciate that about the show so thank you guys so much for tuning in leave a like leave a comment uh, or whatever <laughs> and i'll see you guys for the next one man peace